I don't want to sound or be mean, but if I do, please forgive me. I just want to slap you, beneficiary from DACA. Especially to those who are crying and whining. Because that's what I did and had no one to do it for me. I've learned from Ivan Seha that some of you are even thinking of co committing suicide. I cannot tolerate this because life is one and it shouldn't be based on papers but on what you make out of it. The secret to life is to let go whatever you're hanging on to. Based on my experience, in contrast to in contrast to you who were brought to the US unwillis, unwilling, you know, I came to the US without inspection. But the rest we share the same. You and I have experienced the same. Fear, anger, unworthiness, feeling unworthy. Um, no thinking there's no reason to live for or there is no I mean, this life has no reason uh, blame uh, I blame myself you blame your parents or whoever brought you here you name it I cried every time I saw all immigrants gathering together on TV marching for an amnesty I focused on all my limitations. I cannot work, I cannot travel, I cannot drive, I cannot vote, I cannot, I cannot, I kept whining and whining. I felt pity for myself and whine all the time of my unjusted life. Why me, God, why? Why did I do this? Why, why me? But when I let it go, things change. My life changed 360 degrees. I stopped focusing on the negative things. I thought outside of the box and I said, life is in the US. There is life and opportunities all around this globe. I cannot let my happiness depend upon some papers. I set my mind to work, save money, and set myself free whenever came the time for me to leave the U.S., whenever I had the money. And I really freed myself at that moment when I switched my mind and changed the, you know, the, ding, the way of thinking. That's when I freed myself. I changed my mind, my attitude my horizon and I started focusing on my next move, my next option to make money. The law of attraction works. I attracted money to me when I searched that real estate will give me money, not a job in finance. That's where I grad, uh, graduated in. I mean, in this area, they wanted me to intern for free or get a an office job where the salary was nine dollars an hour. I rather rather babysat, cleaned, did some gardening, you name it. A lot of things. That pay be well better than nine dollars an hour. Look out for the brainwash of getting a degree to get a good job. Thank God didn't have the documents then so that I was able to get out of the rat race circle. If you want some financial freedom, believe me, it isn't by getting documents to get a job. It is by investing and running your own business. Make money, work for yourself, not you for the money. A good example is Sergio Garcia. I think, I mean, I saw some of his Facebook. I think he did some 
flipping or fixing houses and then selling. I don't know, but I, I think that's what he did. Let's ask him. I don't know. I'm getting out of my story, sorry. But then, when I let it go, and you have to feel it for it to work. I felt it. I didn't just say. A new waiver, the I-6018, was passed in 2013, and it was put in effect in 2014. And it was unbelievable that literally I did nothing except for once I joined a small gathering in Central Park by Columbus Circle. Again, I did I didn't invest my time and energy in all the manifestations and walkings. I recall them and thank you all for doing that. I didn't put myself against the haters. I was in the other direction. And boom, I couldn't believe this waiver was passed. Having changed that perspective of not being hung on to what it seemed impossible helped me to better cope the good news. I thank God I didn't have a heart attack. So because I was already you no, know, I wasn't. Whew, but don't get me wrong. I know that some of the gatherings uh, have worked for so many and unfortunately I mean, they have worked for some, but not for so many. Unfortunately, unfortunately, not for so many. And there must have been some other things behind it. I don't think it was just the march. Intelligent work, letters, contacts, like deep work, detailed work on top of the march. And that's what we need to do. Knowledge is power. Let's get to know the laws not only about immigration, but also about real estate, business, and work around them. Only then will be strong and untouchable. If Mr. Sam, better known as Uncle Sam, sees that we're gathering money, not from underpaid salaries but from companies like like the ones will will we'll create like let's imitate our Jewish brothers they get together and do business and they really bring a lot of money to Uncle Sam Uncle Sam the country will let us stay you must be saying what is she talking about who does she think she is I know, I know the effort our ancestors have done for them to be here, for us to be here. I know we cannot give up. But are we fighting the right way? Is fighting getting together and yelling at the walls? Let's be realistic. I've, I've seen this 12 years already since I got here. They don't care. They don't listen. Shouldn't, shouldn't fighting be talking, I mean, taking charge of our financial freedom, our financial power? Mother Teresa said, I'm not against a march. I'm not joining a march against anything, against war, racism. But I'm, you know, I can join a march pro something. So let's stop saying we are against Trump, haters. Let's be pro-humanity, pro-option. Some may want to explore the world and have the adventure spirit. It isn't easy to let go. You have family and friends here. You have the U.S. brainwash from the Hollywood movies. You want to become a policeman of the United States. I don't know. There are other countries too that, I mean, there are no other country that markets itself like the US, right? I mean, where else could you go? Even the Europeans who have great living, working system come to stay and live in the US. Why wouldn't you want to stay? 
But again, let's be open to change and to the unknown. Many times, it is a mystery where they can lead us. It breaks my heart seeing you protesting. It brings back all those feelings. I just want you to know that it is okay. It's gonna be okay. It sounds easy to let it go. And it is so hard to, almost impossible to do it. But try it. Meditation is the tool that helped me. And I was a lousy practitioner, so it took me three years to, to be on the change set of mind. And I mean, you could do it if you're consistent, you can do it in a year or less. If we all change this feeling and change this universe, our universe, our present, believe me, Trump will be impeached. Not only that will happen, but we all will regulate our immigration status. If Gandhi, one person, change his country, imagine what could half of millions undocumented people could do for the United States if we put ourselves in that set of mind. Try it. You, what would you lose? Just try it. Thank you. Love to all of you, really.